Today I'm making my calendula lotion and um, I just measured everything out and I got started but I wanted to share a couple of little tricks with you that I've learned. So this is my distilled water and I brought, measured it out and brought it to a boil and I added my allantoin to it which is this stuff here. Allantoin. Can't see very well. Anyway, um, now normally extracts you're supposed to add um, after when it's cooled down, but with allantonin, it it won't really it doesn't really work very well if you do it that way. So you add it to really super super hot water in order to make sure it's completely dissolved. And I added my aloe vera extract um, to to the really really hot water because it, they're both powdered and just to make sure that they dissolve really well because allantonin will um, dissolve and then recrystallize and it'll be like little sharp things that you're rubbing all over your skin which really hurts. <laughs> And so um, this time I'm making it, I'm using, of course, my Polo Wax, which is E-Wax. And I'm using, as a co-emulsifier, I'm using cetyl alcohol instead of palm stearic acid because my palm stearic acid, I think, is too old. It didn't work the last time. It didn't thicken up on me. <laughs> so I've melted cetyl alcohol in my, po my uh, wax right there. And then I'm just going to, because it's all melted, it's just there's water underneath there. It's a double boiler. I'm just going to add my shea butter. Ah, there we go. So yeah, I'm just going to add my shea butter to it because it's already melted. So it will melt my shea butter quite quickly. I melted these separately from putting them in the water because I didn't want my water to to evaporate to evaporate too much so that should only take like a couple minutes and then as soon as that this is all melted see, melts pretty fast as soon as this is all melted I'm just going to add everything into this one pot put it back on the burner up to 170 degrees and do um, keep everything at the 170, well 175 probably as well I'll do, 175 degrees for 20 minutes to kill any microbes that might be in in some of my um, ingredients. You have to be especially careful with that with lotions because they have so much water in them and especially this particular recipe is like 80% water. I like a good lotion in the summertime rather than a body butter or a cream because I get so hot the lotion seems to uh, absorb really a lot more quickly into my skin. Okay so it's all, it's all dissolved here. <laughs> I'm just going to add it all into that one cup. No. It's a little hot. So, And this is my oil mixture. It has um, almond oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and then the main ingredient is my calendula infused olive oil, and then vitamin E oil. And that's all in there. And like I said, my um, my water phase is 80%, so the oil is about 14. 14%. Love these little tiny spatulas. Okay. And so, it's all in there. And it starts to, um, hello Emma. 
Stephanie? Starts to emulsify. <laughs> no, not right now, sweetheart. Starts to emulsify pretty much right away. So now I'm going to put it on the burner. <laughs> that smile. Hello! Alright, so I'm ready to start stick blending it now. In 20 minutes. Okay, Maya. Stop doing that now. Girls. <laughs> my water bath ready. I did that just before I took it off the burn. <laughs> See? It's a nice creamy white color. And I really hope that this time it thickens up on me. <laughs> I can't stick on this too much because if you do it too much it gets really um, foamy and then it won't fit in my bottle and it gets thick. The bubbles get a lot harder to get out. ice water because I need to it. it has to go below 45 degrees Celsius before I can add my preservatives and other ingredients. So I'll turn you back on then. You can generally see when it's starting to get to the right temperature to add my preservative because it starts to thicken up. It's no longer like a milk. It's more like getting to a thick cream or starting to get to towards the, the pudding type consistency. So I'm going to check my temperature. Okay, so yeah, it's showing up as less than 100, so I'm good to go. I'm out of my water bath. Move this one away. And usually you can tell because the pot itself um, gets warm to the touch. It's not thickening up on me, and this is not good because that's what happened up yesterday when I tried to make it. Crap! <laughs> I doubled the amount of co emulsifier and thickener in the recipe. I'm going to try to try it again! Really? Excellent! Woo! Potty training. What fun. <laughs> so that uh, concoction was my preservative. I used um, double the amount of acetyl alcohol that I would have used with the palm stair bathroom. And <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope I don't have to throw this batch out too because I'm running, starting to get low on ingredients and I still have to make a shampoo today. definitely starting to thicken up now and the bubbles are starting to burst. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to stick blend it anymore obviously. 
if I double the recipe and stick blended it, it, there wouldn't be all these bubbles. But because there's such a small amount, it, it blends in bubbles. Anyway, I wait a little bit longer before putting it into my into my bottle. So I'm gonna get started on my my shampoo now, and I'm gonna do a video on that too. Okay, so here's the uh, consistency of my lotion. I let it set the whole time that I was making my shampoo, which you know didn't actually take very long. Um, maybe a half an hour, approximately. Anyway, so I let it sit that long and it got really nice and thick on me. Still emulsify, which is good. So I'm just going to put it in in my bottle. My five, I have a 500 ml um, bottle here with a funnel. And I start out. You have to hold it at first. Now, this is the funnel I use. I only have one, so I, use, I can't make my lotion and my conditioner on the same day because they're both pretty thick. And I need the funnel for both of them. No, no, no. I really like these bottles because they're opaque. As it often happens when I stick blend my lotion, it's like as you can tell, it's actually full now. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's all kinds of tiny bubbles in there. So I got so many bubbles in there that it actually filled up the bottle. So next time I think I'm just going to whisk it or I'm just going to stir it by hand instead of using the stick blender because it's a real bit of a nuisance. Anyway, so rest of this in this glass container and I'll use it first. I'll use it up first. This is just for myself so it doesn't really matter. Yeah and this recipe was 500 grams instead of 400 grams. So it should just barely fill the bottle and maybe only have a little bit left. I forgot I wanted to add zinc oxide to this recipe this time. Anyway, it goes on really smooth and it makes my skin nice and soft and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Way better than any other um, that a calendula lotion that I've ever tried. It's nice. And it doesn't take very long to absorb either, so that's good. And I'm just gonna. Oh, and I also wanted to show you these caps. Now these bottles, I got them with the flip top cap. With the flip top cap, you can take them apart. See, I'm just gonna put it back together so you can see. See, there's the top on it, and then you press down and it flips up like that. Well, to wash it or sterilize it, I just stick my thumb in that hole there and then pull it up and it comes off and that way you can sterilize in here too because lotion and conditioner and shampoo or whatever gets in there even if you don't open it up it still gets in there and that way um, if nothing bad happens in my lotion it doesn't go bad on me or anything like that I can generally throw these in some boiling hot water after I'm done using them wash out any leftover lotion and then re-sterilize them and reuse the bottle and the covers which is a good way of recycling for me. I like it. I like it like that. But of course you can't do that if you're going to sell it. So, there. So I just wrote on it in one hand and then I wrote the date on it and it seems to last me about a month, a little bit over a month usually. The lotion lasts longer obviously than the conditioner does. 
but I use it every day and sometimes twice a day. Um, I haven't had any go rancid on me that I know of. My last batch um, that I made wouldn't thicken up on me and the batch before that um, it didn't go bad but it separated on me which is why how I could tell that it was one of my emulsifiers that was the problem which is why I changed to acetyl alcohol this time so that's good anyway hope you had fun I did and now I better go make my kids supper before they start gnawing on my leg <laughs> okay bye so it will melt my shea butter quite quickly. I melted these separately from putting them in the water because I didn't want my water to to evaporate to evaporate too much. So that should only take like a couple minutes and then as soon as that's this is all melted. It melts pretty fast. As soon as this is all melted, I'm just going to add everything into this one pot, put it back on the burner up to 170 degrees, and do um, keep everything at the 170, well, 175 probably. That's uh, what I'll do. 175 degrees for 20 minutes. Today I'm making my calendula lotion and um, I just measured everything out and I got started but I wanted to share a couple of little tricks with you that I've learned. So this is my distilled water and I brought, measured it out and brought it to a boil and I added my allantoin to it which is this stuff here. Allantoin. Can't see very well. Anyway, um, now normally extracts you're supposed to add um, after when it's cooled down but with allantonin it, it won't really it doesn't really work very well if you do it that way so you add it to really super super hot water in order to make sure it's completely dissolved and I added my aloe vera extract um, to to the really really hot water it's a little hot And this is my oil mixture. It has um, almond oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and then the main ingredient is my calendula infused olive oil, and then vitamin E oil. And that's all in there. And like I said, my, um, my water phase is 80% to kill any microbes that might be in in some of my um, ingredients. You have to be especially careful with that with lotions because they have so much water in them and especially this particular recipe is like 80% water. I like a good lotion in the summertime rather than a body butter or a cream because I get so hot the lotion seems to uh, absorb really a lot more quickly into my skin. Okay, so it's all it's all dissolved. <laughs> I'm just gonna add it all into that one cup. No. because it, they're both powdered and just to make sure that they dissolve really well because allantonin will um, dissolve and then recrystallize and it'll be like little sharp things that you're rubbing all over your skin which really hurts <laughs> 
And so um, this time I'm making it, I'm using, of course, my Polo Wax, which is E-Wax. And I'm using, as a co-emulsifier, I'm using cetyl alcohol instead of palm stearic acid because my palm stearic acid, I think, is too old. It didn't work the last time. It didn't thicken up on me. <laughs> so I've melted cetyl alcohol in my, po my uh, wax right there. And then I'm just going to, because it's all melted, it's just there's water underneath there. It's a double boiler. I'm just going to add my shea butter. Ah, there we go. So yeah, I'm just going to add my shea butter to it because it's already melted.